Henakwe. As the co-president of the New Zealand Association of Scientists, I'd like to invite you to this year's election panel we'll be hosting again with the Public Service Association. It's on Tuesday at noon, in person and online. Let's look at some highlights from the panel held three years ago. What was said then, just as we were starting to worry about universities? Our plan for science is investment, not austerity. Education is a strategic asset, and the Labour Party will always value education as a vehicle for opportunity and for the development of the human capacity of our, of our country. If you are in Auckland, um, and if you go to Albany, you will see the population there is growing so fast. So we have these many people there, those who can take up these degrees, young people in those families can take up these science degrees. But if these science degrees are moved out from that campus, we are taking away that opportunity because in my view, distance definitely affects people's choices. Standardly publicized career path of scientists where you do some work in New Zealand and then you're almost expected to go overseas and to get some experience in another country. And we suddenly find ourselves in an environment where the rest of the world is not really so open to us as it once was. What I've been really uh, troubled by recently is the conspiracy theories which are now abounding on social media. I was watching this debate when it happened in 2017 and um, I noticed that Minister Megan Woods at the time issued a challenge to people in the audience who were listening, scientists in the audience. She said, you know, I want you to get involved. I want you to get involved, you scientists, in the work of government. So um, I like to think that I'm sort of taking up that challenge here. We look forward to seeing you. Kia pai tora.